In Italy, there are two kinds of fascists. Fascists and anti-fascists. That's by... Anio Fa... Flan... Flan... Flanio? I think it holds true here in America, too! Rocking the goofy beanie talking about how... If you... Uh... Try to make change that's good for the world. Maybe examine what change you're actually making. You know that phrase, The road to damnation is paved with the best intentions. Here's the thing. A lot of people might say that, say, punch a Nazi. That's a phrase that's going around that's really popular. Like, punch a, they always punch a Nazi. Really? You think you should go around and punch Nazis? Well, who's a Nazi? Actual Nazis? Really? You think you need to punch an actual Nazi? Uh, their life's already horrible. They're... <laughs> you don't have to punch these guys to make their life bad. Uh, like some goofball wearing a doofy hat, like this one, but worse, and... Talking to a camera like a creepo? Yeah, that guy's life already sucks. Here's the thing. You give them credence when you punch them in the face. They're like, oh, I'm, I'm such a martyr. I got a bloody nose. Uh, on top of that, uh, there's, has, there's, violence has no room in protesting. When it's gotten to the stage of violence, it's gotten past the stage of protesting. Here's the thing. If you're assembling in a group to stop somebody from speaking, or you're assembling in a group because something fucked up happens, and you break somebody's store, some the person that owns the store, they're probably going to be mad at you. They may not be. But even if they're not mad at you, somebody else is going to be mad at you, and that makes that person more scared. Then some fucking Trayvon Martin shits happen, happens. Fucking more riots happen after that. The cycle of violence continues. So. Punching Nazis, burning other people's shit down, and, or silencing people. All of these things are not the way of people who are American. This is not the American way. Uh... Like I said with Trump, give a man enough rope and he'll hang himself. Let somebody talk long enough and you'll figure out exactly why their policies are ridiculous. But that's only ha it's only going to happen if you let the person speak in the first place without threat of violence.